All right, for this graph of position for an oscillator, right, uh, what is um, the amplitude, the period, and the maximum velocity, right? Well, let's see, the amplitude looks like it's two. <laughs> All right, let's see, we start here, we do a full cycle in four seconds, two cycles in eight, so I'm gonna say that the period is four seconds. Okay, our maximum velocity, we can figure that out, is uh, V naught is omega X naught. Okay, so uh, omega is 2 pi over uh, T. In this case, it's 2 pi over um, 4. So that's pi over 2. That's our omega, right? Pi over 2. All right, so... Um, if we're going to write an equation for the find its maximum velocity, we're going to go omega, which is pi over two, right? And then our x naught is two. So the maximum velocity is just it's just pi. Maximum velocity is just pi. That's fun. Did we do that right? Yeah, we did. All right, so let's write an equation for its motion. This looks like it's negative sign, doesn't it, right? So our x, and then there are, by the way, our, our, our possibilities, right, are, we can look at the, okay? Uh, x can be sine, if it's sine, then it's v is, is cos, right? If x is negative sine, then v will be negative cos. Okay, so our x, is going to be uh, negative x naught sine omega t. Therefore, v is going to be negative uh, omega x naught cos omega t. We can double check these in a sec here. Okay, so x is equal to x naught, the opposite of x naught, so the opposite of two meters sine, and then our omega is, what is our omega? Pi over 2. Ta-da. This will be handy, by the way. We're going to need this for this, right? Okay. Uh, and then our, um, our V is going to be um, the maximum velocity, right? Omega x naught. Okay, so omega is uh, pi over 2 x naught is 2, and then it's going to be the opposite of that, okay, times cos omega t. So let's rewrite that. V is this times this. This is the opposite of pi. Cos pi over 2 t. You can almost put a box around that. So here is our formulas, right? Okay, so at three seconds, let's do three seconds. What is the position velocity? Okay, so, so let's go three seconds. Let's go four seconds. Let's go 6.5 seconds. Okay. At three seconds, I, I, I think that the position is positive, okay? We're going to have a positive velocity. Uh, I'm sorry, positive position. We're going to have a zero velocity. And we're going to have a negative acceleration, okay? These are my predictions. Positive position, zero velocity, because we're going to be at that special spot there. We're going to be at the very top where the slope is zero, right? Okay, and then we're going to have this is negatively concave, so that is a um, that's going to be a negative acceleration. But let's let's just figure it out. Okay, so our um, let's divide this up. We okay. So let's plug the numbers into this. X is. Should we do this? I feel like I need to. Yeah. Okay. So X is. What is that? Negative 2 
times sine pi over 2 times 3, right? Let's do that. Okay, make sure you, by the way, are in radians. I'm hitting mode. I am in radians. Okay, so the opposite of 2, uh, sine pi divided by 2 times 3, right parenthesis, and that is 2. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We knew it was two, didn't we? <laughs> two point zero meters. Okay. Could have. I guess we could have just read the graph, but I, I plugged it in. You know, see, I double checked my formula there. Okay. Um, and then to find the acceleration. By the way, it is positive, and if it is negative on this thing, it'll be negative, right? So our acceleration is just going to be uh, for our formula for acceleration. Acceleration is the opposite of omega squared x, right? Okay. So the acceleration is going to be the opposite of omega squared. So omega is, what is omega? Omega is pi over two, right? So pi over two, that thing squared times two. All right, I can do this. The opposite of parentheses, pi divided by two squared uh, times two. And I'm getting the opposite of 4.93. So, so far we're pretty good here, right? Our, our, uh, um, our prediction for the, the, the position was positive. Our prediction for the acceleration was negative. And then our V, we should get zero, but let's plug it in. Okay, so V is the opposite of pi times the cosine pi over 2 times our time is 3 seconds, right? Okay, I can do this. Oh, I can do this. The opposite of pi cos pi divided by 2 times 3. That's 0. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm happy about this, right? Okay, so let's look at four. Four will also be a very special situation here, so let's do that. Okay, um, I predict at four that our x will be zero. Okay, the velocity will be negative, and it'll be a negative maximum. In fact, we know that the velocity is going to be uh, negative pi. Okay, but let's just hold on there, you know, we're, we'll just, you know, go with our prediction. And then our acceleration will also be zero, okay? Uh, and by the way, once we've gotten zero for x, since the acceleration is just some constant times x, um, you know, we're pretty good. All right, so let's figure out our, uh, at four seconds, what our x is. So x is, is equal to the opposite of two times sine of pi over 2 times 4. Well, gee, that's the sine of 2 pi. But, you know, let's let's pretend we didn't know that, right? Okay, so the opposite of 2 sine pi divided by 2 times 4. I think that's a full cycle. That's 0, right? So our acceleration is the opposite of omega squared Times zero is zero, right? Do you have to label the units? If, if it's zero, I don't think you do. But I'm, I'm doing it anyway, just because, you know, here I am. All right, so so our, our predictions of x and acceleration are correct, right? So our v, we should get, by the way, negative pi, but let's just try it. Okay, so v is uh, the opposite of pi cos uh, omega is pi over 2 times 4. Well, gee, that's just cosine a whole cycle later, right? Uh, so I think that's going to be 1, and then we'll get negative pi. But let's just, you know, let's pretend we don't know that. Okay, so pi, oops, the opposite of pi, cos, uh, 
pi divided by 2 times 4. Do -do -do. And indeed, we get negative pi. <laughs> okay, so that equals negative 3.14 meters per second, roughly. You know, 3.14 divided by 2. All right. Um, 3.14159265. The, there was some kid I had that had like memorized pi as some crazy thing. All right. Okay, so, so we've done four seconds. Let's do six and a half seconds, which is going to be spicy. Let's see. Here's six, 6.2, 6 6.4, 6.5. Okay. So my prediction is that that's going to be a positive x. It's the velocity is also, there's a positive slope here, right? But the, the, it's, the slope is becoming less, right? So this is downwardly concave. So we're going to get a negative acceleration. All right. So my x is uh, the opposite of 2 sine pi over 2 times 6.5. Let's do it. Opposite of 2 sine pi divided by 2 times 6.5, right parenthesis. I'm getting 1.41. Right? And then our acceleration is going to be the opposite of omega squared, right? Omega is pi over 2. So the opposite of pi over 2. When you get a lot of writing on the screen, this thing lags. I don't know why. Okay, squared times uh, what x is? 1 point. So of course I'm going to be right about my prediction, right? I predicted a positive x and negative um, acceleration, right? Okay, so I'm going to multiply that by the opposite of parentheses uh, pi divided by 2. Whoops. Oh no. Squared. <laughs> and I'm getting that it's negative 3.49. There we go. Okay, and then all we have to do is figure out our v. I predicted a positive velocity. Not quite pi, though, right? We're not quite, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, because we've gone, this would be pi, positive pi meters per second. And it's heading towards zero, right? So it's slowed down quite a bit. All right, let's solve for v. So v is the opposite of pi cos pi over 2 times 6.5. Not times 4 or 3, but 6.5. Okay, so uh, the opposite of pi, cos pi divided by 2 times 6.5. And I get positive 2.22. I feel like if I haven't boxed them in, you know, do I really have the answers? All right. Wow. That's just a lot of writing. Okay. But think of how much learning went on. Okay. I'm done with that.